Okay, if I'm correct, this should be our next uh, destination. Welcome back. Uh, bush. I don't even need paint. Welcome home. Yeah, we need to get in. We must know where to find the paint stars. Well, I think we need a climbing permit. Okay, at least we, okay, we can go right through here. I don't think we need to go to the other area just yet. So let's, I guess this will be our next episode, really. I believe this is pretty big, though, so. Yeah, we're going to be here for a little bit, if I'm correct. Hmm. Hello, my guy. Yeah, I guess. Look, I'm gonna be, I don't mean to be that guy, but I felt down at my job too. And I've still gotta work my job. So I guess all we can really do is, I mean, it's pretty easy fix. It's un in, unlike um, working at McDonald's and being down where my mood is mostly a result of just, you know, negative thoughts this is not this is nothing a little hammer won't fix all right now color all of it in sure but we also need to open the curtain open the door Unfurl block. Yeah, so when you see these little blocks, there's gonna be a symbol. Yeah, it's basically... Yes, there was, Huey. It's sitting right over there. The dude's sitting on a cardboard box. No, not the toad, the box. And of course, the inside of this chair has got no color. Bro, it's not that hard. At least not for me. There. Oh, wait. Seriously? Just a little spot under your doormat of all things? Dude. Get it together. No one was gonna see that. You're s- you, you may- you, my friend. You, you, you're not exactly helpful. You keep climbing permits in a safe? A paper-thin safe, mind you. It's basically an envelope. So, like, what? Do you just have multiple safes with different permits in them? All right, okay, I'm done with this place. It's bro. So, like, again, do you just keep multiple saves? Because that save did not look like it can hold any more than one. I don't know why I'm flipping over all these rocks. All right, well, we got a large job to do, so... I'm this I get quiet when I read dialogue probably shouldn't but yeah like this is kind of like another one of them well all areas we are full-on area and I remember this one just kind of not being that great there's a lot of well spinies for starters which obviously I can't just regular jump on I don't have any iron jumps either as far as I'm concerned I have too many mushrooms, too. That's for certain. Let's just use three worn-out hammers, honestly. Like, 
three of them should be fine, right? The shockwave will hit the second one. Oh yeah, this is... Okay, if I didn't... Okay, we're good. If I did, if I got the shockwave on the second one, that might have been a little better, but... We still got him. I really need to practice my timing for hammers. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need a lot of these, because spinies are kind of like the main enemy in and around this area. Oh, so we're gonna fight a lot of them in the pipes as well. We're just gonna get stuck in certain pipes. And there are gonna be freaking spinies in them. Like, I'm pretty sure this one right here already will have one. Oh, wait. I don't even think I need to go in there. I'm pretty sure I just go back here. If I'm correct... Oh, wait, no. Never mind. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Now you're a regular red Koopa Troopa. Actually, I have an idea for this. I'm gonna try a line jump. And I'm going to try a worn out jump. In that order. I wanna see if this works. Because if I'm correct, we should be able to ground the other guy. Put that guy. Oh, wait, no, we killed him immediately. Okay, well, that didn't exactly go the way I thought it was, but it still. I still got the results I was looking for, so... I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, well, I thought there might have been something hiding over there, but there, there isn't. So... Yep, there it is. That's what I remember. Spiny in the pipe. Just play a regular hammer. This will t If I can... If, honestly, I think even if I get a great, I should be good. Yeah, we're good. I still have no idea what the timing is. You just push this dead spiny out of the pipe. Oh, there's a purple toad up there. Oh, perfect. We kind of need him. Oh, wait. We do need to go up that ruddy road area because I kind of need the fire extinguisher. Alright, well, first things first. What I'm going to want to do... I want to ground that paratrooper. That's 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 a go-to. So we'll worn out jump first. Do I have any hammers? Oh, I have two. Okay. Yep, we'll use that. This should be able to do it. Like honestly, I think the worn out jump will not kill. Oh, I messed up. But Yeah, the shockwave killed. Perfect. I guess there's a little bit of strategy, but it's not really a strategy of how to beat them, it's just how to beat them without them damaging you. Like, that's kind of like the only bit of strategy, and it's not even really devoted strategy. It's not even, like, you're not required to do that. It's just how to do it easier. Kind of why I like Thousand Year Door better. It's just plain and simple. It's because the strategy comes from how to avoid the inevitable damage and beat the enemies, not how to do it in one turn. Although I guess it's kind of not that different. It's, this game just kind of feels like it encourages it a little more. Hmm, this is not good. Okay, well, I'm not going to be able to... Uh, I'll use a regular jump because I can kill the uh, paratrooper. I'm not going to be able to uh, beat this in one turn. Let's do the KO hammer. Why not? This will 100% kill if it's anything like the slap hammer from the last game. Yeah, that'll take care of him. And then... Yep, gone. And then one more jump will take care of this guy. I guess I really... I guess this isn't a bad thing because now I'm using the cards that I probably... This is exactly what I'm, I need them for. Wait, why am I even doing this? I didn't need to do that battle. Oh well. Well, I got a Koopa Paratrooper card for it, so... 
Yeah, I know there's also a toad up there, so... Wait, can I... Oh yeah, I can. Perfect. Just so I can, you know, color that in. No, we're not. I'm not fighting. Also, no hammer cards, please. Well, actually, I honestly can tell. Do I need hammers? Do I need jumps? I need both. But the problem is the enemy's placements are not great. Oh, that wasn't a rock I needed to color in. Okay, sure. Wait a minute, you're a toad. Well, that's a problem. And... Oh, surprise, surprise. Well, that's just an ambush waiting to happen. Alright, well we do need to jump back down there. Oh, once again, gotta ambush me, don't you? Well... Oh, hell nah! You're gonna let me color this thing in peace, and you're gonna leave me alone. I'll take those two. I fell. You creased your leg. Is that anything like breaking a breaking it? Because I'm pretty sure, unlike in a normal situation where if I broke my leg, I'd have to let it heal, we could just do this. Oh, I hit him in the face. Oh well. He fell off of that, by the way. I also jumped off of that, and I'm fine. And he jumps off the cliff. And doesn't crease his leg, by the way. Probably should mention that. We'll have to go back up there anyway. We'll avoid the uh, paratroopers. Also, this does not seem like a very stable mountain at all. Like, you can't expect me to believe all of this is just flowing. Like, some of these rocks or boxes, I guess, don't have any support. This is not a very safe mountain. All right. Again, I don't really see any saving opportunities, so we're gonna go. I guess we're gonna go until this level is done. But hopefully, it shouldn't be too much longer. Okay, if I'm correct, that pipe does not lead us anywhere. But we might have to check it anyway. Unless. Nope, can't go that way. What's in here? Okay, but we do, I guess, okay, I guess we do need to be up here. We need to find an unfurl block. That's a stack shy guy. Ooh, a burn hammer. Oh, it's a blaze hammer in this game, but it's a, it was a burn hammer in uh, Sticker Star. Oh, cool, there's the block. Oh, I fell. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there. Oh, okay. I just wasted a little bit of time there. Okay, so, yeah, that seemed... That was pretty straightforward. Yeah, I don't really think that's necessarily how warp pipes work, but... That's Kamek. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, Kamek is kind of never a good sign, in any sense. And in this game, he's a real pain in the ass. Goomba! Yeah, so this is where we learn about random Kamek stuff. Lives to ruin, you know how it is for us big wigs. Yeah, I do, I am also one of them. So, he's gonna just screw around with my cards and do something. I can't use the Battle Spinner, I can't run, and he's probably just gonna flip my cards around. Oh no, he just turned them all into worn out jumps. Oh well. I don't really care about what cards were in the order, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use these. 
Yeah. Like, he can stick you into some really stupid situations. And it's not fun. Especially considering they're forced battles, and they can happen at any random time. Ow. I didn't guard that. Okay, well, whatever the last three cards in my hand were, they're gone. Not that I really care, because they were Goombas. And I wasn't really going to face anything that warranted me using these cards anyway. If anything, I'm saving all of these cards just for bosses. They do... It does wear off after the battle, so... Okay, so we need to go over there. But if I'm correct, the only way to do that... Alright, I gotta figure out what we're doing over here. Yep. Yeah. There's a Koopa in here! Okay, well, I'm gonna actually want to hammer this guy. Because I don't want... If I hit, a, hit him with my jump, it's just gonna make him retreat into a shell, and we're in a pipe. So he's just gonna ricochet off the wall. There we go. Pretty sure there are enemies in the other pipes as well. Wouldn't be surprised. Okay, now, if... Okay, I guess push comes to shove, we'll just redo this if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure what we do here... Nope. Yep, I was wrong. So we need to go all the way back through the pipe. Wait. Oh, I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, so I did the wrong thing. However... I have a hunch. Yeah, what I need to do... Get away from me. First, I need to color this thing in. Yeah, that's what I thought. Thank you, Huey. I kind of got that. Are you kidding me? I don't have time for this. Very persistent enemies. Like, in any normal Paper Mario game, I 100% fight these guys, because fighting them meant something. But not here. I'm not gaining anything from this. Nothing of significant value, at least. Sorry. Alright, well, now I know what we need to do. Oh, this is fun. Or I just walked past that, like, several times. Okay. That red one, I believe, is a shortcut. I don't think that's a necessary hit. But if it is, I'll come back for it later. Because right now, I know what we need to do. Hurry up, Mario. And by hurry up, I mean goddamn these warp pipes. And... This should just reveal a pipe leading right over there. Yeah. If, if you can't tell, it's just a cardboard standy. Yeah, you're just a regular old toad, old toad like old toad like everybody else. Shenanigans! We've been had! Yes. You're right, Huey. I'll come back to this area and do some more exploring, but I think that'll be it for now. Honestly, like, I kind of want to do more episodes, but, like, I don't really need to exert myself, and I still have Mario Party to record, so. That is it for this episode. Maybe I'll do some more later, because I kind of want to do it. Oh, that just leads over there. So that's just a shortcut to there, so that didn't really achieve anything. And I'm pretty sure the red one will actually just lead up to Ruddy Road or something. Well, in any case, that is all for this episode. Tune in next time where we give that goddamn uh, uh, gate gatekeeper a piece of our mind. So I will see you guys next time.